Hey, I'm John Tabler. Welcome back. And today we're doing a field trip. We're at the U.S. Chef Store where restaurants buy their food. I want to give you an idea about what restaurants are actually buying. You know, you go out to eat at a restaurant, you think you might be getting healthy food, but you really don't ever read the ingredients. You just order healthy. I'll have that baked potato, but put the butter on the side, or I'll get a ribeye steak. That'll be good. Uh, so I want you to see some of the some of the ingredients that are in the food uh, that's bought by restaurants not all restaurants but most restaurants get this type of uh, food and these are the ingredients that they get so let's take a look so as I turn around I want you to see the things that are in the freezer and here we have a whiting filet and you'll see that the ingredients on there you got whiting but you got sodium tripolyphosphate and sodium tripolyphosphate is a chemical that's actually known to cause kidney damage and many other health problems. They put it in these meats as a preservative and that comes from China and that's on fish. Um, and there's just many things in the coolers as we go along. You can just kind of pick them at random, but here's catfish shank filet and it's got sodium phosphate which is about the same thing and so most of these meats if they're already boxed they have these type of things in them and when you look up the health ramifications of these things let's take a look at this one this is frozen swai fillets product of vietnam and it contains up to 30 percent added solution of water sodium phosphate uh, again so those type of things are very harsh uh, salts that are used as a preservative but they're also known to cause all sorts of health problems here's flounder fillets your restaurant your favorite restaurant probably has a, a flounder fillet and there we are sodium tripolyphosphate and that's a product of China so when you go to your restaurant they're not going to have that on the menu if you say well i'll get tilapia that comes from around uh, around here doesn't it and around the united states and it's regulated well no that's a product of china and it has carbon monoxide carbon monoxide oddly is the thing that people end up poisoning themselves with when they <laughs> if they accidentally uh get car exhaust or try to heat their house wrong with the gas and then it also has sodium tripolyphosphate look these things up online these are not things that you want to ingest so you know a lot of people would just say well if I steer clear of the seafood the fish what about if I just get a beef sandwich I'll have that well let's see we're gonna see the beef sandwich slices got beef water dextrose Autolyzed yeast, sodium phosphate, same thing. You're eating for nutrition, you're eating for health. You're not eating so you can go to the doctor and go to the hospital and, and have problems later in life. You don't wanna slowly poison yourself. Here's a ribeye beef steak, seasoned boneless ribeye beef steak. Surely that's fine. Well, it's tenderized with bromelain, which is fine. That's from a pineapple. But it can, contains up to 12% of a solution of wa water salt. Oh, sodium phosphate again. They're putting sodium phosphate in the ribeye. So if your restaurant is buying their meat pre-packaged and pre-wrapped and not cutting it themselves, they're going to have these type of things in there. And we definitely don't want that. Here's seasoned beef patties. And I haven't looked at these yet, but let's just see what's in it. Got beef water, some natural flavors, yeast extract, canola oil, which comes from a plant called rapeseed, which has to be chemically altered to make it even edible for humans because it's poison as it comes from the plant. Canola oil and highly, highly heated, but we don't see the same level of um, phosphates in that particular one. 
Um, and as we come down a little bit further, of course we got all the things like classic corn dogs. That almost doesn't even need to be looked at. Pretty much know 100% that's gonna have plenty of junk in it. And you can see there's sodium nitrite front and center right there. And sodium nitrite causes all sorts of health problems. All you have to do, I can show you study after study. This video will be a run long and be a little bit, might be a little boring, but just, just put that in a search engine online real quickly and you'll see very quickly the health problems it causes. Just put sodium nitrite for two of the words and health as the third word and you'll see what these things have in them. Uh, here's sausage. Italian sausage, we can have that. Well, we got BHA, BHT, and propyl gallate added amongst disodium and ozonate and disodium guanolate, which are both very harmful to health. So really what's going on here is restaurants are getting their food cheap and feeding it to you and putting a pretty package on it and a higher price tag but they need to buy it low priced enough uh, to be profitable. And you're really getting uh, not the kind of food you want at a restaurant. Now, one of the things you have to be really careful about is what they are frying in. And so this is called Whirl Butter Taste and Better. Butter flavored oil with artificial flavor. And as we've seen on studies, even 60 Minutes did a study, all the artificial flavors are known to cause cancer or most of the artificial flavors because they're chemicals. Now, in this ingredient is soybean oil, hydrogenated soybean oil, which has been made illegal in most places because of the fact that a chemical process is done to it that makes a cheap vegetable oil solid at room temperature. So it gives it a a texture like butter and that's why there's oil floating on top of solid in this uh, jar it's had a chemical process to, done to it but it's unnatural it's hydrogenated oil and it's known to cause arteriosclerosis and all sorts of problems and then people wonder why there's so many health problems uh, artificial butter flavor is going to be a chemical a synthetic man-made chemical that's made to taste like butter but the negative effects from it are massive. And so, and, we, and then it also has the yeast in there, which is a, comes from the mold and fungus family. Now, using this to fry your food in, it's like using poison to fry your food in. And this is why there's so many people on so many prescriptions now that are older because they've spent a good uh, amount of decades slowly poisoning themselves, you, not paying attention to what they're ingesting, um, here we are, premium liquid butter alternative, artificially flavored. That's a red flag right away. And so soybean oil, hydrogenated soybean oil, artificial flavor. This is nothing, absolutely nothing you should be putting in your stomach, in your food whatsoever. And the best thing you can fry in is beef tallow, beef fat, um, natural fats like that, butter, uh, canola oil, again, if you look this up, it's named after the C-A-N is because the word Canada. They have a patent on it. It's actually rapeseed oil, and it is poison to a human until they chemically alter it, and they didn't like the name rapeseed, so they changed it to canola but it's very harmful, extracted at high heat and chemically processed. And these things are not good for your body. It's not what God intended us to eat for our health. These things are bad. And doctors aren't taught about this a lot, but the, all the knowledge is there for you to find and see. And this channel is about healthy eating, clean eating, fermentation, and the things that'll make you healthy. And that's another canola oil in the same same uh, way. And this one has dimethyl 
polysiloxane. And that's really something we definitely want to put on our hamburger. Uh, give me some ketchup mustard and some dimethy polysiloxane and pickles on the on the side there that is definitely not going to work this is the things that are in restaurants that you're eating uh, when you eat out if, you, if you're not very careful and know exactly what that restaurant's doing and hey you can do it but it's a, it's at the cost to your own body your own health here is what's called clear vegetable frying oil what is that really? Well, that's high heat extracted soybean oil with TVHQ and dimethyl polysiloxane. Go ahead and uh, look that up. And you can pretty well guess right now what that's gonna amount to. Over in the corner, we have some whole vegetables. Now we're getting somewhere. The problem is they're gonna cut those potatoes up and put them right into that cheap oil at many places and basically pollute your uh, your healthy food even if this isn't organic still have a heck of a lot better than having uh, synthetic chemicals put in your food and if you have fermented products it can counteract if there's any pesticide residue left on these yes it's better to buy organic because you don't have all those chemicals but when you look around you in society right now and you see the people that are walking around, I had a friend say the other day, some people are so fat, they're way fatter than the person would have been 40 years ago that would have been at the carnival as the fat person. And why is that? It's not only from exercise, it's also from poisoning from these foods. And we didn't have this stuff and many people, these people didn't grow up in the 1970s and before with these kind of things in their foods. Many of the dessert items are some of the worst offenders also. They're the same cakes you're gonna see at most places, but they go all for taste and no substance. Uh, in this one we have sodium phosphate is in there, artificial flavors. Uh, sodium aluminum and so on and so forth I think everyone knows intuitively that there's things that are in those those desserts that aren't good but you know those desserts originally were healthy and good for you I mean if you think about it those desserts would be made from eggs and cream and whole wheat ground wheat and honey and just really good things for you, you know, natural colors. And so you'd eat a piece of pie um, back how it used to be made and you're actually nourishing your body. You do it now and you're gonna put yourself in trouble because of the things that are in there. And so many people have acid reflux now and really what that is, that's your body telling you that you're eating something that you shouldn't be eating. In many cases, that's exactly uh, what's going on. And so the thing is, is that people can't quite figure it out what it is that they're eating that they shouldn't be eating. And you'll find that many times it's actually the oils or the toxic fats that they're using in these instead of real butter and real cream. And so if you eliminate those things, you don't have that problem. I've seen that many times with people. And so it's important to read the labels on all these things. I wanted you to see some of these things that are at restaurant foods when you go to a restaurant and it's up to you to look out for yourself. I'm gonna help you as best as I can by offering many things and, and uh, many sources that can show you exactly what to stay away from and what to eat. So hit like and subscribe down below. Now let me know your comments and I'll see you in the next video.